Welcome back, Code Websters, to another electrifying video by yours truly, Code Webster. All right, so today we're basically going to be making that simple leaderboard and ranking users on how many books they've read. So I'm trying a new format right now, so this will kind of be like a shorter video instead of pumping you with 20, 30 minute videos. But that said, let's get right into it. Okay, so first up, I want you to route back to where we're actually creating our book reader. Um, I got it here. I don't know where you have it, but if you've been following my tutorials, you should know. So what we're going to type there is we're going to first of all create a controller called leader. Rails generate controller leader. And what that does is it basically generates several files which we'll need to handle the logic and to handle the view of our actual leaderboard. Okay, so that's all done now. And that creates a bunch of files and invokes a bunch of tests. So now if you go down to, uh, let's reset this. If you go down to app, uh, go down to controllers, you should see your leader controller here. Okay, so we got our leader controller here. So for our leaderboard, we just want to list the users by how many books they've read. As per last week, we actually created something called the read only section. And that checks if that's true, then you've read that book. So first of all, we're going to just create an index page. So just go ahead and define an index. And that's going to be the index page. We also need a function, so private, right? So we want only the classes in the section to actually access this. So we don't need to make a function that will actually have a view associated with it, just a loop function so we can actually calculate the ranks of people. So we're going to call that a ranker, OK? Do that there. Uh, we're going to create a variable. We'll call that variables. And that'll be an array. And so what we next want to call is we want to get all the actual users. And we're going to loop through that. So in Ruby on Rails, you just go dot each, and that loops through everything. You want to go do user. So this will give us each user. Uh, once again, you want to make sure that's there. Put an end to end it. And next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to set the count. So the count is user dot books dot where read book is true. So this only gets the number of books. Um, that the where read book is true. So we also just want the count of that, so dot count. So Ruby on Rails does that really well. You just have to put a dot count there. Next, we want to push this to our actual array. So similar to JavaScript and all your other languages, you just have to do dot push. And we're going to, instead of making that an object, we're just going to use that as an array as well. We're going to go user count. OK, so that will actually send through the user, and that will send through the count. OK, that's all good. So next, what we're going to do is we want to actually return that sorted. OK, so we want to sort it by how many points you have or how many books have you read. The person who's read the most books gets the most points. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Rails luckily has an interesting setup, Ruby as a whole. Ruby, if you don't have a last statement, the function simply returns the last statement you have. So what do I mean by that? So if you have return um, variables, that would work. But we, we can also just do this, variables, and it will return variables. We want to return that using a function called dot sort by. And this dot sort by basically sorts our function um, or our variable, our array, into uh, a certain configuration. Uh, how that's set up, I'll show you. So just go then. OK, so what this is saying is that, hey, I want you to sort the array variables, which has all our users, by the amount of counts. OK, so you go sort by var, so it gets the actual variable that's inside here, which is user and count, and gets the count variable. And it says sort everything by count. And it will, it's an automatic Rails or Ruby function that does this really quickly, so we don't have to loop through everything again. So now that we've got that done, all we need to do is back, go back to our index and go at ranking, at ranker. So we'll go at ranking equals ranker. And that basically calls the function. And as I said before, Ruby on Rails automatically uh, does the last statement and returns the last statement. OK, now that that's done, we just want to go to our view and actually call this. So go view, leader. We need to create a new file. And that new file will be called index.html.erb. Now, what I want you to do is go back to your books setup, go to the index, and just basically copy what's there. We're just going to change it up a bit. So just go in there, Control A, Control C, go back to index.html.erb for the leader section, Control V into that. We just want to change that a bit. So instead of books, we'll call that the leaderboard. 
we want to get rid of this because that's not called here. We want different table names. So we want position, so your position or your rank email. And we'll call that the number of books read. Okay, get rid of author, get rid of that. And now all we have to do is instead of at books, we want to get our actual variable name, which was at ranking. So if you get here, we got at ranking. And remember to call it in the view, we have to put an at in front of it. So let's just go at ranking dot each dot do rank. So this gets all the ranks. We want to next get rid of all this stuff. Just delete it all. Delete that all. And we're going to create several uh, table, several uh, rows. So TD. First of all, what we want to is we want to find the index, okay? Because you're trying to find the position. So all we have to do is at ranking dot find index rank plus one. And now I also forgot to put the actual Ruby setup. So you have to put percentage equals, otherwise it won't call that. Kind of like uh, JavaScript or you have to use script or if you use Django before, you have to use several systems for that. Okay, so now that that does that, let me explain the code. So it gets at ranking is our actual array. It wants to find the index of rank and then plus one. Remember arrays count from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't want that. We just want first being the top position. Okay, now that we've done that, next all we have to do is get the email. If you go back to our leadership controller or leader controller, what you have is a user and account. User.email will actually give you our email. So pretty straightforward. So what you want to go do is percent equal user rank zero dot email. So rank zero because the zeroth position is the user and then just go dot email. Finally, all you want to do is go dot TD. Oops, we actually have a, we forgot the percent there. And I could see that because that was blue. So now finally you want to go rank one and that'll just give you the count. Now that that's done, you've got the end there. We want to get rid of this. And that should give us a really good leaderboard, a really basic leaderboard. So finally, you want to actually do the most important part and that's actual route. So let's go to our config folder. Let's go down to routes and we're going to create an actual leadership route. So what you want to do instead of you resources, we only have one. So there's no use doing resources. What we actually want to do is type in get. So a get request and a get request just gets information. No posting leaderboard. Oh, well, that's our route name. And we'll use leader hash index. And that gets the leader controller and then gets the index part of that. Okay, now that you have that, let's call our actual, let's start up Rails. So Rails S. All right, Rails have started and let's go on to our um, we'll go to incognito mode actually. So control shift N and we'll just go localhost 3000 because that's where our system's running. Obviously you need to log in before you go on. And you can sign up or log in whatever you want. And yep, yeah, so we actually have two users. Um, let's actually go to our leaderboard and that's just slash leaderboard and that's what we've called it. Uh, let me show you that again. So, yep, you've got get leaderboard. So even if I just copy that, slash leaderboard, it'll go to leaderboard. Okay, so if it's gone codewebdata at gmail.com and this guy at gmail.com. So we have these two users that we've created. Uh, unfortunately, the books read is not working. So let's go check why that is. Go back to your index. And that seems to be because we forgot the percentage equals. So percentage equals actually tells Rails, hey, I want to actually see this. And we forgot our slash TD. Okay, now that that's done, refresh that page. Okay, so that shows Code Web Dev has read one book and this guy has read two books. So if I wanted to beat that guy because I don't like that retard, <coughs> fortunately, yes, I did say that. Let's go to localhost 3000. I want to read another book. So I've read two books. Let me just create another book and we'll call that 1942, George Orwell, 368. Awesome. All right. So now that we just set read to be like that, 
and we refresh that page, we should have the books I've read as three. Okay guys, so you saw that blunder there actually, it seems to be re sorting it in the reverse. So what we're basically just gonna do is we're gonna just go dot reverse and let's see if that gives us what we need. So control shift R, refresh, yeah. So that works out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You've got a leaderboard and if I actually get rid of one of these and I refresh that page, it shows them neck to neck. If I get rid of one of them and I refresh that page, it shows this guy winning. And obviously if I've read zero books, it says this guy's last. And I think that's all done there. But unfortunately we wanna also get back to our index page. So we're just gonna add a quick link to allow us to get back to our normal page. So let's go on and go to the leader index and at the bottom, we're just gonna, we're gonna link it. So we go link to, and we'll call that back percent equal, link to back, now go back, and we'll just go user books paths, and that'll just give us the normal user books path percentage sign there. And on the other side, we wanna also go to our index page, and we wanna link to the leader, leaderboard. So we got a leaderboard and I don't know the path off by hand. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go look for it manually. So what you're gonna do is go localhost and intentionally just put a wrong error one. Um, actually let's go 3000 and then you put a wrong error one. And just type in leader and I'm thinking it should be leader path, leaderboard path. Okay, so it's leaderboard path. So all I have to do there is go leaderboard path and that'll link me to the leaderboard. All right, refresh this page. And that has given me an error. So it says that it says there in syntax error. That should be 1%. Hmm. Oh, yes, so there's double percentage signs. Uh, it seems mine's key is stuck. So now all you have to do is press back and that will get you to be here. I wanna go to the leaderboard. All right guys, that's all for today. It's pretty short and neat. Next week we'll set up the read cycles and a basic profile. And the week after that or the video after that, we'll try to set up some designs for our page to look at, make it look a lot better. As always, it's been a pleasure teaching you guys and hit that smash, that like button and subscribe button. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.